to Ravenel Ford. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2019 Ford F250 XLT Crew Cab. This has the gas engine in it folks. Stay with us over the next few minutes as we walk around this beautiful Ford work truck for 2019. Here we go. So this particular truck comes with a 6.2 liter V8 under the hood. We're gonna go ahead and take a look under the hood here in just a moment, but before we do, we'll take a look at the front grille. We're gonna walk around this truck, take a look at it, see the interior, what options you have, and everything like that. Again, this is a WT, which they consider to be a work truck. To get the job done, you got these massive headlights for nighttime to be able to see on the open road. Your blinkers, which I have blinking right now, so you can get a look at those. And then you have your fog lights down on the bottom bumper, your hooks, everything you need. The grill is absolutely beautiful. The logo is massive in size, and of course, it is a super duty. So that's definitely for sure. Let's take a look at the wheels. First off, the rims are wrapped in Continental tires. Let's see what size rims and tires we have here today on this vehicle. This is a 275-65 series tire with a 18-inch alloy wheel. Looks pretty good there. Looks like we also have an eight lug rim as well. This does come equipped with the running boards on the bottom, or running rails as some people call them. Now not all trucks come with running boards, but this one happens too, and uh, it's nice to see one with them on there. Just as always, the traditional F250 with the XLT at the top badge there on the fender. Then massive mirrors. Those mirrors also extend out in case you have a fifth wheel on the back or a big trailer, and they also fold in if you need to do that. They do come equipped with the LED lighting here, so you can see exactly what's going on. And of course, a Ford logo. Let's go ahead and open up the door and pop the hood and look under there at that 6.2 liter. You do have your keypad here in case you need to press a code in to unlock the truck in case your keys were locked into another vehicle, house, or wherever your keys are at. The hood release on this vehicle is right down here. You do have your traditional uh, e-brake right there which you'll press down with your foot then pull here to undo you can move the pedals down here on the floor as you can see the pedals are moving in case you're a little bit shorter or maybe you're a little taller so depending on how the seat is positioned you can also position the pedals which is actually really nice another thing that's nice that we're just pointing out right now while we're right in this area here is that you do have a power seat check that out it's pretty nice and a lumbar support in the back of the seat so you don't see a whole lot of work trucks with power seats and all these power options but you do on this one here so that's pretty nice we'll also talk about the pricing today as well and why Ravenel Ford has one of the better pricing structures of work trucks here in the Carolinas when you open up the hood you do have your shocks so you don't have to put a pole up there or anything like that to hold that hood. Also, something I actually love that a lot of truck brands don't do, but Ford seems to be starting to do it again, is they're giving you two LED lights under the hood so you can see exactly what's going on when you're working on the truck, maybe at nighttime, right? You never know, you know, you may be out there doing something and at nighttime something happens, you need to pop this hood. They do have the 6.2 logo right here on the air filter box. A big battery on the left hand side right there and again that 6.2 liter runs pretty quiet doesn't it it really does this truck has just around over 380 plus I think around on the horsepower torque. we'll put the specs up onto the video right now you also see here this is your uh, your radiator fluid and definitely a bright color isn't it kind of a neon color going on there which is really kind of interesting to see I like how Ford has made these tanks kind of clear so you can see how clean the fluids are and all that you can even see this fluid over here this one back here for power steering and then powered by Ford that's a big motor up under there isn't it it really is that 6.2 liter so that's nice that also is nice to have two under the hood because it sound detons from the inside so you don't hear the motor as much and if you get in an accident, and let's just say, God forbid, the engine catches on fire, that is supposedly to help dampen out the fire. So dampen the sound, dampen the fire, right? Yeah. Let's hope that never happens to you while driving your Ford Super Duty F250 XLT, but things do happen in life that we don't expect. 
It definitely is a long truck, isn't it? It really is. This is one of the first 2019s we've had come in. We do have several other work trucks over there as well, and I believe we have a few more 2019s that are very similar to this one right here. Crew cab is definitely the way to go. Big, it's four door. It gets everybody in to get the job done. Nice big long bed in the back. The rear of the truck looks great. The taillights are just as big as the headlights, aren't they? Nice and tall. Your exhaust pipe's gonna come out on the rear passenger side. Tow package down on the bottom. Backup sensors in the back bumper. Also getting a backup camera right here. As long as the truck is unlocked, this should just drop down, just like so. If you need to get into the back of the truck, there's actually a ladder system, or a step system as some say. You press that button there, this pops out like that. A Little bit of grip tape there on that step. You can grab here, pull this, do that, and check it out. You got a easy way and a safe way to get in the back of the truck to get the job done. I've loved this feature. I really have. There's not another truck brand around that has something like that. I love the bed liner. You got your third brake lights up here. You got some also some lighting right here to shine in the back of the truck. You got rear tinted windows. You know, we did a video last week with this truck against the Chevrolet work truck and the Chevy didn't have tinted windows. So it's nice to see that the Ford does. A lot of nice hookups back here to store things. And then I love that you got these LED lights in the back to see at nighttime. I mean, is that not nice? You got one here, one over there. It's easy to find the button. Again, on the Chevrolet, I couldn't seem to find the lights or the button. Some say there is lights, but they actually store them up under here on the Chevy. Now, that's probably, to me, not the best place to have LED lights is up under. You probably want them right there to shine out here like that. So Ford's got it going on pretty good with their LED lighting on their vehicles. If you want to get out, it's pretty simple. Just grab the pole and do what you did to get in. If you want to put it back up, hit that button there. Well, actually hit the number one. <laughs> A little tough to do with one hand, but do that. Do that. Press that back in. Take this, grab there, like that. It's done, it's easy, and it doesn't really weigh that much. I mean, again, I did it all with one hand with my other hand on a camera. So, that's the back, and another Super Duty logo, right? I mean, you just can't get enough Super Duty logos on your Ford truck. You do have lighting back here, no LED, just regular halogens, but lights there, lights there, hookups, light hookups and all that kind of stuff for your trailers, so you got brake lights and all that kind of thing. Because you gotta have those things, folks. If you don't, it only gonna take a minute for the lawman to see you and give you a ticket for not having lighting on that trailer. Oh, there's another Super Duty right there. So you got one on the hood, one on the tailgate, and now you got one right here on both sides. There's that, this is a gas motor. If it was diesel, you have your add blue fluid that would go in right there. Let's go ahead and look at the price for a moment. So retail price on this particular truck is $48,170. Ravenel Ford discount, $2502. 98 over invoice is $45,668. There's a rebate of $500, there's that. Easy price, $45,168. And if you finance a Ford Motor Credit, there's another $500 to save right there. Vehicle, this vehicle has no ADP, added dealer profit sticker, such as unnecessary rust proofing, paint sealing, undercoating, closing or dock fees, etc. Such items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to sell and dealer. Beware, okay? Now, you know, that's really important that Ravenel Ford puts that sticker on there, and there's not a lot of car dealerships in the county or even in the city or state that have a sticker like that, okay? And it's also interesting to see that this is a 2019 that just came in last week already with discounts, incentives, rebates, and everything, taking it from 48,170 down to 45,168. So again, a lot of other Ford dealerships, these 2019s that are coming in right now at the middle of the year, 2018, they're not putting discounts on them. They're gonna go ahead and sell 2018s and keep the price where it is on 2019. But Ravenel Ford is gonna give you what you want. So it's always nice to see. Now the interior of this vehicle, you're getting power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, lots of cubby hole spots. Like I said earlier, power seat and a lumbar. You get your gray cloth. 
Good looking seat, really comfortable. Plenty of headroom up top as you can see. You got your rubber steering wheel here. You got cruise control, audio functions, voice commands, and all that. Let's go ahead and hop in and sit down and see what else we have inside this truck. Where it's nice and cool. AC is already blowing nice and cold. We're gonna go ahead and cut off our blinkers for a moment. Now, right here looks good, right? You got your speedometer and your tachometer. Tack over here on the left, speedometer on the right, and then you got a nice LCD screen right through the middle. You already can tell you got your uh, tire, tire pressure monitoring system popping up. These over here, just hit the middle button for OK, but check that out. Beautiful display on that screen. A lot of different things going on. Trip, towing, off-road, settings. Okay, just to get a little look today at what we got going on. Off-road, look at that, check that out. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, not bad, towing. All right. So all kinds of nice features, trip and fuel. There's that. Display mode, there you go. Switch through those different options. Mile per hour, tires, all that. So 153 miles on the truck right now. So anyways, we'll leave it right here on mile per hour. You got a handle here to help you get in or get out. Up top, there's your mirror. Right there, pretty decent sized mirror. You have lots of auxiliaries. You have six of them in total. You have sunglass holders here. Your interior lights are LED, okay. Very nice, longevity. Don't have to worry about those light bulbs going out anytime soon with LED. You have storage up here. You have a center mount speaker right there for voice. If you listen to talk radio, your voice will come right through there, which is kind of cool. Anyways, center mount speaker is always nice to have. Big vents, you'll notice that. You get two big ones here, another big one here, and way over there. Another super duty. So that's one, two, three, four, five super duties. How about that? brake gain, USB, climate controls, radio controls, center screen, okay? That's what you got. 12 volt, 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet right there, which is nice, and it's got that light on letting you know it's ready to go ahead and be having something plugged in. Another thing you got here, you can press this button and open that up for a little spot for some storage in there. Then glove box right here, Pretty decent size and another little spot to store things there as well. And you can actually cut that passenger airbag off or on if you want to, which is kind of cool. So, well, not that it's cool, but it's a good safety feature, depending on what you got going on. The only time you usually want to cut that side curtain airbag off is if you got a child sitting in that seat that's 70 or 80 pounds, you know, or, or, or smaller, okay? Not that it you want to have a child sitting in the front seat, but again, if you got a small child that's 80 pounds or less in that seat, you do not want to get in an accident and have an airbag hit them. It's extremely important that that airbag does not deploy and hit a child, okay? Take my word for it. Um, you do got a lot of storage here. Okay, we like to pull things around, show you stuff. As you can see, my Polar Pop cup sits just fine and dandy right there. Now you have four cup holders if you needed it. That's going to hold those in there a little bit better. Okay, so pretty sweet. There's a lock right here if you want to lock your center console. Maybe you got a 9mm pistol in here, a Glock or something like that. You might want to lock this up. Maybe you got your wallet in there and a couple thousand dollars in there. You might want to lock that up. Or a checking book, credit cards, or whatever you got in there. Jewelry, phones, whatever. You want to be able to lock that up if you need to. You can. You know, if your truck's sitting there at the job site all day, you never know. Somebody could be sniffing around and get in your truck and take something, right? And that's why you want to lock that up. Anyways, you can move that around like that. You can take it out if you don't want it in there. That is probably the most massive size junk drawer I've ever seen in a truck. It's big. There's a lot of storage. There's a 12 volt down there as well. There is no light in here, so you won't be able to see in there at nighttime. So you might want to cut on your LED light with your phone to do that. But anyway, it's pretty sweet. You got a nice little grippy kind of feel to it, so things don't slide around too much. More cup holders right there as well. So, for, so far, this is a very nice truck.
traction control off, it's got about everything you need. If you needed more storage spots, there's even more down there for pens, pencils, change, whatever you want to throw. You can hit that button there and close that up if you need to. It makes it look a little bit nicer. Again, the price of the truck is the price of the truck. And you might think to yourself that this truck costs a little bit more than buying a Chevy or a Dodge Ram or a Toyota or whatever it is you're looking for. And maybe it does cost more. But there's a reason why a Ford truck costs more money. It's Ford Tough. The fit and finish is there. This is American craftsmanship that you want to drive and it's going to last a long time. I've had many of friends that drive Chevrolets and I've tried to switch them to Fords and they don't seem to want to do it. But one day they'll listen to me and come and look at a Ford. I mean, I got a friend of mine right now, my best friend, he keeps going through Chevys and transmissions keep falling out of them and you know, things keep breaking and this that and the other and I'm like, "Look, man, you need to buy you a Ford." Try it out. It don't hurt. He's still behind Chevys, but you know, sometimes people just like driving what they drive. But anyways, I'm going to want to drive what's going to last and not eat my pocket so much over the years. And we all know things are going to break on vehicles. I mean, I'm not to say a Ford truck won't have some issues here or there, but they're going to stand by their work, and that's always a good thing. Anyways, the back back here, and again, that's not Chevrolet stand by their work too. But I've just seen Fords, they seem to do better over a long period of time. Just my opinion. And anyways, we got a lot of storage down here, more storage here. You got speakers, okay? The back seats look great. You got headrests in the back, a lot of room. You got up top there, you got coat hangers, you got more lights. Again, I will tell you right now, a Chevrolet truck will not have rear air vents in the back on a work truck. And they won't even have rear air vents in the back even on a premium or a LTZ. That is something that I have complained about with Chevy for so long now and that's another reason why I like a Ford because I do believe that back passengers should be able to have some rear air vents blowing on them, cool air, warm air, whatever. You do got two USB ports which is nice. You got a 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet right there and of course another 12 volt and again rear air vents. You can throw iPads, tablets, magazines, blueprints, work, whatever right in there. A lot of room, a lot of leg room in the back. Another feature that you will not get on a Chevrolet is you probably won't get that many outlets in the back, that's for sure, and you will not get what I'm about to show you. This is a great feature to have. You can take this thing right here and fold this down if you don't want to use this as a storage area, or you can do it like it is right now, and you can keep things back here. You could throw your shotgun back here if you're going hunting, golf balls, whatever. Throw it back here and not worry about it sliding or going up under the seats or anything like that. So that's a nice feature. Again, that's that fine craftsmanship, paying attention to details and using every square foot of inch in this vehicle to do something special with it that a customer will like. That's the Ford Touch. So anyway, it's pretty sweet. You just do that right there. Anyway, you do that on the other side, you can fold that thing down nice and flat, okay? You got some tools here as well. So I like that, I really do. Now why in the world is this seat not wanting to go back down? I don't know, well I'll have to have two hands to do it. But that's solid folks, that's your Ford for 2019. Now you may say to yourself, well there's not a whole lot of difference from a 2018 F-250 to a 2019. No, there's not. It's really for the most part the year. But I will tell you, it's new, it's 2019. It's still a beautiful truck. It's still meant to get the job done. It's still got plenty of towing capabilities. Head over to Ford.com, read up all about it, okay? You can get this available in a diesel. There's a lot of different trim levels and packages you can do on an F-250. Stay tuned with us, folks. The 2019 F-150s are right around the corner. F-350s, F-450s, F-550s. Whatever kind of Ford truck you want to look at, come on down and see us at Ravenel Ford. Remember, no dealer admin fees, no dock fees of any kind, no processing fees, no dealer add-ons. None of that stuff, okay? We're going to make the buying process real simple for you. That's why they say it's called Ravenel Ford. 
easy. We're just 15 minutes south down Savannah Highway, which is Highway 17 outside of Charleston. Not a very far drive to come and get a deal that you've always looked for and a name you can trust. Family owned and operated for over 25 years out here in the country. We appreciate your time. If all you could do today is hit that like button on YouTube and hit the subscribe, we would appreciate that. And the biggest compliment we could get is for you to come on down and buy a truck from us. Thank you again. Have a great day. I'm Chad and I'm signing out.